Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about the new Retro Love by Beauty Bay. Uh, if you want to see three looks and if I think you should buy this or not, then um, keep on watching. Welcome back. Listen, I am excited. Of course, I uh, filmed this look. This is one of the three looks I did with the Retro Love palette. I bought this, I think, at launch. I told you um, in my Will I Buy It series, which is uh, like live every Sunday, that I do absolutely love the color story of the palette. Of course, you will see swatches in this video. This is a 20 pan pie shadow palette and it has some warm tones as well as cool tones i'm trying to like show you again studio lights so of course you will see clips uh with the palette swatches and everything i bought that palette of course on beauty bay because listen it's a beauty bay palette Again, I tried a lot of their releases in the past. This one is around, I think I paid 17 euros and I think it's $18. I'm not quite sure, to be honest, or 15 pounds. Listen, I will put prices somewhere here. And yeah, it's a 20 pound palette and uh, it, listen, this is the like outside of the packaging. We do have here a glossy finish and then this one is matte. This packaging is giving me anxiety. I will tell you, I don't love the packaging of this or the design of the packaging. I, I, it's a little bit too much for me, but indeed I do love the inside of the palette. Again, we do have 20 shades. We do have, let me tell you, seven. Yeah, I think seven shimmers and then four, 13 mattes, which again, I love. We do have a white shade and we do have, this is not a black, this is a really deep purple. We do have depth as well as lighter shades and medium shades. So we do have at least a deep purple and then also these two shades are a little bit more deeper. So if you are thinking, oh, I don't know, you do have that. As well, if you use this light um, white shade, you can, of course, lighten every one of these. Just saying, you have the option. I do have to say, I do love this one as well. This is a really, really like, um, like shimmery shade. It's glittery as well. And this one doesn't seem to have a base. I have it on today and uh, it is really, really pretty. I'm just saying, it is really, really pretty. Let's talk about maybe the palettes, if I like it or not. So I, you have a review after uh, having made four looks with it. I have to say, this is the same quality as the like previous um, palettes. This palette is the same size as the new mod or mood. So it's like the same like packaging size. I do like that they did that because I do have several palettes and I am like quite pleased that we do have the same size and we don't switch about that because that's what I will hate. Uh, we do of course have a mirror that is here. Let me show you maybe the difference. I felt like these were kind of not similar but indeed a little bit if you will. This is the new mood and this is the you can definitely tell they do have a little bit of a similarity in like comparison to the browns maybe like it's not the same same but it gives up the same vibe this uh, has a more like muted yellow these ones this and I don't know this one has really bright yellow I think together these will be amazing if you have both of them I don't think like you will regret that just saying I think yeah, you do have like pinks. Listen, this one has pink as well. It's not as bright as the one from the new mood. Like this one is a little bit deeper. So I think you can combine them pretty nicely. Again, this yellow is, a, I would say, even a mixture between this one and this one from the new mood. So it's like... They could be, like, they, they could be sisters, just saying. Again, in the new mood, we do have a little bit more of a blue approach with uh, 
real green and in the other one we do have like uh, a more tealy tealy approach on this side you know we do have some uh let me swatch these we do have some like peak like look at this can you tell the difference these peach shades are similar not the same but they are similar so quite similar you, I don't know if you can tell I can tell that this this one is a little bit brighter than this one again super similar do you really need both of them I'm asking let me also swatch maybe the browns this one is the brown from the uh, new mood and this one is the brown from the um, retro love you can definitely tell the retro love one is a little bit warmer Wow, they are pigmented, listen. Yeah, they, like I said, they are similar, but not the same. Let me also use the yellows, of course, after the browns, because that's, that's what we need. Let me, let me again. This one is the deeper yellow in the new mood. This one is the only yellow we have in the retro love. This one, I feel like for the yellows, you can definitely see that there is a more distinct difference. But of, of course, we do have more than one yellow in the, in the new mood. You can definitely tell it gives up a similar vibe, but it's not, not quite the same, you know. Let me also do the browns. I feel like I do have like brownish. These are the two browns from the uh, new mood. And this one is the brown from the retro love this one let me do I have like again similar vibe not the same color by the way this one is the one from the new palette it's again it has similar vibes and that's why I feel like let me also like listen let me also swatch the like gold shade you like it like I said they are good pigmented shades this is the gold from the new mood this one is the gold from the retro love similar not the same you, you can tell like after 15 swatches <laughs> even though i didn't like listen i did like you can tell these are pigmented these are really really nicely I do like the formula a lot. If you saw any of my Beauty Bay uh, videos, I will try to link them down in the info box below. Um, you can definitely tell that I told you before that I think if you if you wanted to have like the best impact, the deepest color, you should definitely start with the deep shade and then blend out from there. If you start with a medium shade and then build on top of that, there is depth, but it's not as deep as it, it it could be, just so you know. Let me, well, there are again similarities. Can you bring out, like, listen, Beauty Bay, this is not the first palette from Beauty Bay. This is the sixth, seventh, eighth, like some in that range palette from Beauty Bay. So I definitely see why, you know, you can't bring in like new colors, new shades all the time. Again, if you have the latest ones, I think the new mood is um, the previous uh, palette. I think, again, they are similar. I think they will definitely work together really, really nicely. Just saying. I don't, I don't mind having both of them, just so you know. But yeah. Uh, quality wise I do think that the palette is similar quality wise to all the other beauty pair palettes we do have a few more glittery shades like this one this is the like yellowy shade but we also have more patty like a putty formula that is just a regular shimmer but we also have like this one which look at this they do perform really nicely. I have to say though, I feel like the pastels in the um, palette are a little bit light, but they're also trying to like, listen, this is stuff. 
they, they are light of course because they are white based and I feel like if you like use a little bit of maybe glitter glue a little bit of a better primer underneath you can definitely distinct like distinctive see the difference in color I do think though because they are quite white base I don't think that sometimes you can definitely tell uh, if this is a mint or not because I feel it is like looking just light just so you know I did of course three looks with it this one is one of them I love it I did love all the looks I I made maybe the first one was a little bit ah. But um, I do love, like I do love all the three looks I did with the palettes. So if you want to see that, then just keep on watching. Again, for me, I think this one is a great formula. I do like it. I do like it also, again, with the new mod together. I do love the color scheme. I do love that you have these really, really pretty pastels. I do love that you have nudes or neutrals as well in here, so you can put in a pop of color. I could have like gone with any of the pastels, the mint, the uh, TV shade, the, like the purpley shade uh, instead of the white, which I did. And this would have been a beautiful and stunning look. The white is, could be a little bit more pigmented, but it's a great white. It's not just like, it's not extraordinary, but it is really, really pretty. So just so you know, that is my opinion. If you don't want to see the tutorial, you can just now go your merry way and uh, leave it at that but if you want to see the uh, tutorial report then just keep on watching okay let's do this i was planning on doing two looks and uh we'll see if i maybe get uh joined into a third i want to try first maybe the greens and then maybe a little bit of the purple we'll see about that let's just uh experiment a little let's go and hop right in let me switch right into a magic moment, which is the darker teal, and just, you know, try that. Uh, first time using it, didn't even swatch these, so yeah, let's uh, see about that. We will just maybe put that onto the primer. Well, that worked great. <laughs> That is amazing. Yeah, let me put that as a base down. Well, that worked better than I expected it, to be honest. Like, look at the color. It is gorgeous. We will blend that, of course, and also deepen it up a little bit. I will blend just slightly the edges, really, really slightly. Let's go into the lighter teal as well, which is blue suede and blend it a little. I am indeed a little bit excited, a little bit more excited about this one. Ooh, this is pretty. It's more of a bluish tone. We can definitely go with, of course, I just put that a little bit on the edges. I do want to go in with the yellow as well, so we'll see how that is going at some point but yeah we will do that together you're with me with this so yeah <laughs> great idea to do that uh, I will go in a little bit further into the inner room as well see about the uh, under eyes but that's so far again the uh, this, there is no real distinct difference I can see that the greenish is a little bit deeper but let's go into the purple shade the purple shade first and that is a uh, love so far so good no dots which i don't see though that there should be dots i will use the really light purpley shade i will just pack that by the way it's the same brush that i used for the um like light bluish shade just you know trying to work that into the blue shade and just a little bit blend it on the edges i feel like this could be so so cute if you really go into the retro direction you know i won't but i mean i'm going into the colorful selection so that could be nice i'm just like cleaning off the same brush and i will go into 
buttercup which is the yellow i don't know we'll see and then it just will go into like on the edge to the purple and the blue you know a little bit like this if you will just a little bit more and just a little bit blending don't know if that was a really great idea and i will go also a little bit more into the blue as well just so that it looks like it was not just like a little accident if you will this is a beautiful color it's a really nicely pigmented yellow you can definitely tell it is not as bright as you could be maybe i would go same brush i just cleaned it up cleaned it off a little bit and i would go into love again which i don't even know why the purple is called love but it is a really white based color like so just so you know when you walk like look straight into the thing that you see that there is a little bit of a pop of yellow because why not i think this is really kind of cute let's uh do let me see i think i will like deepen this a little bit before I go into shimmers. And I think I will use the deepest shade in the whole palette, which is the It Takes Two shade, which is this one. This seems a dark, to be a dark purple. Again, I didn't swatch any of them so far. So yeah, let's maybe go into that. Let's go into that and just see how good I can like deepen up the teal shade that worked amazingly normally if i can remember the first palettes i used by beauty bay you definitely saw that it was a little bit more difficult to build up the color so it was best to start with the deepest but you can tell it's not a problem at all that is great we will go on top of course with a little bit of the teal I'm just using to, again, deepen up the teal. You can definitely tell it worked great. And now let's you go in back with the first shade, which was the deeper teal. And just like stamp it on top so it works. And we just, like it blends the color and we just see a little bit like it, it dims a little bit the darkness because I will lay it all over the deep shade but it also will tie the look together so it's just not like a deep purple in a, like a blue and purple picture you know what I mean we will of course lay on top some shimmers so I'm not so worried if it's not looking perfectly but it worked quite well you can definitely see it could work a little bit better though you know what I mean but I mean I'm good with that I will use again a little bit of the shade just a little bit on the like lash line but again i think again if you want to have the full impact of that color i would suggest you start with the deeper shade and then build up from there just using it here a little bit on my lower lashes i can definitely tell that this is a little bit deeper but it's not as like deep as it may could be let's do some shimmers though i'm i'm excited about the shimmers i think i want to use the shade river deep which is this shade and not the deeper shade just because i feel like the look is a little bit lighter and i'm just using that on the brush i brought to this like my vanity like listen i didn't even bought this to my vanity it was on my vanity and I'm just using a little bit of setting spray just need to use a new setting spray though and just place it on the edge of the deep shade and the teals this is such a pretty shade listen you can do a mermaid look suggestion from me to you mermaid look totally 
100%. We will, of course, not stop here, but like, look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. I will put in the purple shade as well, which is the My Girl shade. And I will use that on another brush and I will also just spritz that and then put it a little bit more into the look. Oh, interesting. You can definitely, can you see the difference? This one way more sparkle and like duochrome -y. This one, regular shimmer, just so you know. They do have different shimmer formulas. Again, I didn't swatch them so far. I need a new spray though. And we will definitely work that in a little bit more. Oh, I feel I need to, like look, I look at like Ariel, which fitting. So, like that. You can definitely tell it is shimmery, but it's not like the most duochrome like color you ever saw I feel like we will go in again with the deepest shade and just a small brush and I would just deepen up a little bit on the edges the shimmer because I feel like you can do that best when you lay the shimmer down and then go on top with a matte shade I feel that is again quite nicely and can work way way better and then we will go into the then we will go into the light purple shade i feel like here in that like a room you can't tell that there was a matte purple on underneath so i will go again in love and just like bring in a little bit more color like so you can definitely now tell a little bit better that there is a matte purple underneath. I do love the look. Let me do that on the lower lash line and put in some falsies and liner and we'll be right back. Okay, that is the look. I just added some half lashes and uh, to be honest, nothing else. So I was like a little bit lazy, but um, yeah, this is the look. I shouldn't have done the yellow here, but you live and you learn. So um, in general, I do love the look. Uh, I feel like though the like light purple could be a bit, a bit better, at least like here. In, I put it in the inner corners as well. And there it worked really fine. Um, I do love the look. What do you think? Well, let's go to the next look because I am utterly excited for this one as well. Let's come to the next look. Uh, again, same palette. I just, uh, if you see something, it is because I did film uh, one of the other looks beforehand. And if you see like a blue shimmer through, that's it. I do want to start this time with the deepest red shade. We'll see if that is a little bit more giving us the intensity and like putting it on top. I feel like sometimes that can be really a problem, especially this shade seems really, really, or seemed like the blue teal shades seemed very opaque. And then it is a little bit, you know, difficult to like have the color grab uh, like your skin because listen, there is no way that can grab the skin or anything. So that can, can sometimes be a little bit more difficult. So let's try to start with the deepest shade. This is a star, oh, I'm so excited, excited about these shades though. Again, this is the deepest reddish Movie shade. We will expand this a little bit into that, um, like look, and then just blend a little bit the edges. We will add a little bit of a pink hue to it. But first, we will also put that on the put that on the lower lash line as well, because we can. If you hear some kind of strange noises, cats. I do want to like do a look where I have lightness as well as depth. Like 
like so that that worked like a charm let me grab this one and now we're using we're trying to use cupid which is a bright pink to blend this let's see how this is going it does work at least pigmented wise i do the trick where i put a little bit like i swipe off a little bit of the pigment because again i did lay the um like the deep reddish brown um underneath so i don't need to like bring in the pigment 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 part so i hope that this blends better if i do so we're just going on the edges and trying to blend this i always blend a little bit further into the look you know because why not hi honey and let's just let you know don't blend too much in because again then we would blend away the depth I feel like this is looking really pretty we also of course do that on the lower lash line and then we do have a mauve light pink as well so let's try to use that to blend this a little bit further this is at last which is beautiful color i feel like and we just like try to use it to just blend the like hot pink a little bit i don't think that this is like giving up the best pigmentation you ever saw but again it is just softening out a little bit of pink and that is exactly what we want which is great now let me go into the first brush i don't use any product just like swipe that on top of the pink i mean we can take advantage of you know like having these colors because we know already that if you layer it on top of a medium shade that it's not going to be as deep we can take that as uh, for advantage and just you know use it for blending like this which like listen doesn't that look so pretty i will use a little bit of the pink as well on my lid just a little bit and i'm thinking that this is looking so damn cute just a little bit to blend the color nothing too fancy a rough edge and now i do want to try to use the heartbreak hotel which is this mint green listen we could have done like different approaches to that like that look i thought that this would be a great choice to just put in a little bit of a really really light pastel and i think this one will be probably uh, like a matte look in general you can definitely tell there is pigment behind these shadows Let's see about this this is such a pretty shade We'll see about like the opacity you could of course lay down like a white base a white primer i haven't so we'll see how this is working of course we will need or we have to use a little bit more to like see a result again this is a pastel it is not like a medium toned brown shade or so and then we blend a little bit at the edges i feel like these white based like um white based pastels of course are a little bit like difficult to work with but i feel like this you can definitely tell i think let me use that on the lower lash line as well just a little bit We can we could let it like this so that we have the green i will add in a white because we have a white in the palette as well 
just so we have everything we want to. And I need to like like blend it in this area so it doesn't look too like unblended. We use the second brush which is the one with the pink. Just go in the direction of the green and with the green I'm going into the direction of the pink. Just so I you know try to blend it. And then we go back to the pink shade and just like blend it as well. Like this. See, it does look blended even though these two colors shouldn't be like I must almost say they shouldn't be blended at all, but I feel like this is such a pretty and easy look. Amazing. And then we use the white, which is the one in the corner, and then we just brighten up the inner corner a little bit. See? So we do have like a white, white. Then we do have the minty, tea, tea, minty shade to the deep pink as well. I feel like just so far using the pastels two times, three times if you count the blue as well, I feel like these are really really good to work with, not too shabby, but I also think you can definitely tell the pigment itself is really really like light. Can you tell? This is my finger swatch and then it is on the eye. Maybe I should maybe try to like use a little bit of the pastel green on my eye. I feel like if you blend this, this is quite powdery. You know? We we'll use just a clean finger to rub it in. I feel like they definitely need a little bit, they definitely need a little bit of work. It's not as easy, but in general pastels are not easy to work with. So I wouldn't like see a problem with that. But you can definitely tell it is a really, really, really light green. I don't know if you can tell. I feel like this is lighter and has a quite white base and that you that that I think you can tell can you I will I will finish the look up and then I will see you in a sec this is the finished look I absolutely listen I absolutely love it like look at this it's so gorgeous love it I added some liner this is the Catrice too cool for pool too cool for pool I don't think you can get this anymore, but it's the only one that was close and not a blue, <laughs> which this is green and mint. But yeah, I absolutely love the look. I use the same half lashes. lashes. These are the Essence half lashes that they included in the new um, like counters. Absolutely love it. Like, look at this. So pretty. I absolutely love it. So let's do the last look. Welcome to the last look. I am super excited. And yeah, I do want to do a little bit more of a higher contrast. And I'm thinking about using the really deep purple and then maybe white and the shimmer shade because I just used it today. I mean, you saw the swatches, but isn't this looking like gorgeous? It doesn't have a base though, and by the way, this is uh, eye primer and concealer on the hand. But yeah, I thought that would be a great like contrasty look. I feel like this palette though is like mainly, of course, pastels and bright colors, but why not do like a really, really like different approach? So let's do that. I think I do have some wild idea about this um let's let's try to like do that so i dipped into a liner brush we now by the way listen my eyes are a little bit stained from the pink today because i was like <laughs> i am doing pink from the palette today so you will see that in a 
real or something and I was like like listen we're just doing a really messy wing again just using the brush and then we also like bring that in a little bit like so it's not really like a let me see I think I need to go a little bit higher though because I have like hooded eyes again it is not it's not like the worst um, part ever when you mess this up a little bit we can and will indeed let this look really really be cute I'm just using a little bit of a, like it's not really bigger bigger but just to fill this out a little bit and just go on top of this again this can and should be looking a little bit messy and we do want to add a little bit of depth in the outer corner and in the outer part so that the like white or shimmer shade will pop a little bit more again just doing that trying to again blend a little bit into that direction maybe we'll use a little bit of a bigger brush as well we won't use any additional product it's just this kind of a brush and we will go on top and mess it up again this is a more messy approach we will blend this a little bit like so this is how it should look like it's a little bit of an hour not too much but just a little blended and then we do have like the depth here into well didn't want to flick you off but yeah into this like region i just winged it a little bit a little bit up to lift my eye at least that was what i wanted to do um if it worked or not you definitely can tell or not so let's try to use the white shade just cleaning up some brushes here let me do the white shade we'll see how opaque that is effectively on the lid i do find that the shade was really really pretty when i used it in my inner corner you know it did look good so just pat that on of course we don't have any like glitter glue or anything as base but i feel like that is looking really good isn't it what do you think I think it looks really really nice let's use a little bit of the um, black or it's like a purpley shade just use without any like additional product I was just using the pencil or brush I used here as well so like this just to blend it a little bit if it is not blended how you like it just blend it the way you like it this is like looking cool and now I want to use again the shimmer shade and I will use this on my pinky there because my pinky is smaller than my ring finger and I don't have like big eyes just so no no and just like put that holy okay wasn't wasn't expecting that like uh, yeah putting that on my lid this is so pretty. Like, look at this. Woo, that is pretty. Let me use a little bit of the dark shade. Thanks for focusing. Just lose a little bit of the dark shade. I feel like this, like, a specific shade, which, by the way, is uh, Love Train, has, like, as far as I can tell, doesn't have, like, a base. So you could add this on top of any of them. <laughs> Let me also use, by the way, the uh, blackish. Or this is a deep purple. Listen, this is looking black to me. I also use this on a, like... I also use this on a smaller brush and just do that on the lower lash line. Just to, you know... 
like tie everything together and then we just blend this out. I love it. Let me finish this up and then we can talk about everything. Okay, this is the finished look. I added some lashes. Let me see, where are these? Here. <laughs> they here, these the Catrice Galactic Lashes. Dear Universe in I Am Curious, you can tell. It's a great lash, but then I also added some white eyeliner and yeah, that, that is like the finished look. I absolutely love it. It looks so cool and I think it's also a little bit different than like the pastel -y or a uh, colorful look. I do like them quite a bit though. That's it for this video. I hope you liked all the looks. Uh, write down in the comments which one is your favorite. If you want to see more looks, then also subscribe to this channel. I upload three times a week as well as like uploading some shorts to this videos and also of course uh, to um, all of the looks I did, as well as at least one of them, which I didn't show here with some pinks, which is kind of cool. Uh, and yeah, I hope you liked it. And I wish you a beautiful week. We see us in my next video. Bye, guys.